Greetings Africa Engineering News family and welcome back to another weekly updates with yours truly where we discuss all things Africa's engineering, innovation, technology and all around STEM updates happening across the African continent. Also don't forget about those funding mechanisms as well as upcoming events. We'll be sure to highlight those as well. Our first featured article is titled Kenya after COVID-19 internet access and connectivity is a utility not a luxury and i mean this is this is the truth this is the tr very true sentiment not only you know in developed nations but we're seeing it becoming more of the reality even in especially in developing nations and so you know as we've been talking about this covid 19 has really shifted things especially um in developing nations and so the kenya alliance of resident association kara has been hosting webinars to increase um, the community's awareness uh, regarding kenya's response and long-term plans for a world post covid and Kara has been hosting speakers from the government sector as well as private industry, including uh, Safaricom, which is the largest telecommunications um, company in Kenya, to help clarify some of the response action plans moving forward. And of course, future initiatives will not only affect the residential sector, but will also have deep implications for the energy, education, transportation, um, cybersecurity, and even infrastructure sectors as most of the commerce moves online so you know for more of this be sure to check out the featured article on the website as previously stated uh, the world bank has been funding a lot of projects across the african continent and we said we'll be sure to keep you posted and so this next featured article is titled world bank approves 130.8 million us dollars for infrastructure upgrades in uganda's west nile sub region this funding will be used to implement a road project that will greatly benefit the refugee hosting district by you know upgrading over 100 kilometers of roadway from gravel to bitumen and you know in the same token it will be used to strengthen the institutional capacity of the national roads authority to manage environmental social as well as road safety risks um, so for more of this be sure to check out the article on our webpage our third featured article for this week is titled Satellite Navigation in the AFI Region, The Solution for Africa by Africa. And I mean, just by the title, I love it. I'm here for it. I am all for it. Snaps all the way around. And so, you know, the Agency for Air Navigation and Safety in Africa and Madagascar has started to broadcast a satellite-based augmentation system signal over the Africa and Indian Ocean regions. Um, now this provides the first open service in this part of the world via satellite systems managed and operated by the Nigerian Communications Satellite System under their Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy. Um, this is huge, this is, this is big news because this is a crucial major step forward in the development of a satellite system, a uh, satellite navigation system in the AFI region. This ideally is what will become the navigation solution for Africa by Africans. And you know, like, I'm here for it. Why not? Why not? Okay, so be sure to check that out. More details on the website. Um, next, a uh, quick shout out to Paxful. Paxful has added Tether USDT to increase their uh, cryptocurrency stability for their trading platform. Also, be sure to check out opportunitiesforafricans.com for more funding, internship, and fellowship opportunities uh, wherever you are in the world. There's something there for practically everyone, okay? <laughs> and also be mindful of the upcoming deadlines. Speaking of deadlines, upcoming events include um, the Africa Customer Virtual Event 2020, which is a collaboration between Autodesk, TopCon, and Esri CWX, and that is an infrastructure-focused um, event that will be taking place on September 22nd and 23rd. Also, a reminder, your applications for the Youth Lead Ambassadors are due by September 25th. 
Um, the Nigeria Com virtual event that's taking place on September 29th. West Africa Com is taking place September 30th to October 1st. Uh, also, Nesby BMAC is uh, presenting the Minority Innovations Weekend event uh, that's taking place October 3rd and 4th. The 5th AfroLabs virtual annual gathering is taking place October 12th to the 14th. For more information on these topics and future updates, be sure to connect with us at www.africaengineeringnews.com or if you're on social media platforms, uh, connect with us at Africa Engineering News. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff for the latest updates. And so until next time, be sure to take care of yourself out there, stay safe, be healthy, and in all you do, be encouraged. All right, ciao guys.